let's go over the basics of a budget set, your budget constraint. Uh, you, you're working, hard working person, you got a, a good job and you're making a certain amount of income. And let's say in this crazy world, you can only buy two things. You can buy good X and good Y. So how much of good X and good Y can you buy? Well, that's going to depend on two things, the price of good X and the price of good Y. So if you blow your entire income, I, on X and Y, you could spend it on all Y, you could spend it on all X, or you could spend it on some combination of X and Y. And, and the amounts, the quantities, the maximum quantities you're going to be able to buy of each good are dependent on, on these prices. And so let's, let's say you do spend it all on good Y. Right? So if you're spending all of your income on good Y, it doesn't really matter what the price of X is because you're not buying any X, that's going to be zero. Uh, the only thing that matters is the price of, of good Y. And so the total number of good Y that you can, you can consume, you can purchase, is going to be your income I divided by the price of good, good Y. You're taking your money in there and you're saying, okay, I've got, for this example, let's say I've got an income of 100 bucks. The price of good Y is $4. I'm going to blow all my money on good Y. Uh, how many can I purchase? Well, that, it's going to be uh, your income divided by the price of good Y. That's going to equal the, the units of good Y that you could purchase. And in this case, that's going to be 100 uh, divided by 4. So 100 divided by 4 is going to let you buy 25 of good Y. Let's put that on our, our graph here. That's going to be... Twenty-five units of good Y again. That's your income divided by the price of good Y. Same thing with good X. If we spend all of our money on good X, we're going to be able to buy a, a big pile of X, and it's going to be uh, income income divided by the price of good X. It's going to give you the number of, of units of X you can buy to spend all your money on that one item. And that's going to be in this case, uh, it should be a hundred divided by 5, so you can buy 20 units of good X. And then you can buy any combination of the two. Right? You could buy, let's say, let's say you wanted to spend uh, part of your income on X, part of your income on Y, you wanted to buy some combination. If you were to spend, let's say, 60 bucks on, uh, on good X. How many could you buy? Well, you're going to spend $60. The price of good X is going to be uh, is $5. Right? And so you can buy 12 units. Uh, that's high level math. Um, but you should be able to buy 12 units of good X. Right? Let's plot that. So it should be right in here somewhere. Right? So 12 units of X. But now I got some cash left over, right? I got $40 left over my income, and so I'm going to take that 40 bucks. I'm not making very good use of my board space. I'm going to take that 40 bucks, and I'm going to I'm going to spend it all on good Y. And if good Y costs $4, now I'm going to be able to buy 10 units of good Y. So we can plot that. So somewhere right here is 10, and so. This is me getting 12 units of good Y, 10 units of good X, and that should be somewhere on this line. It should be a linear function. Right? You can get any, any combination. Try it. Go through. Start with buying one unit of good X. Uh, you're going to end up spending $5. You're going to have 95 left over. Divide 95 by 4 and see how many units of good Y you can purchase you're going to be somewhere right about here. And then say, well, what if I'm going to get two units of good X? And you should be able to move all the way down this curve. This, this line is, is your budget line. It's the maximum amount of these two goods you could purchase. If you wanted to purchase uh, 
five units of good X and five units of good Y, you could. You'd be within your budget set. This entire area under the curve is your budget set. You'd be here five and five, and you'd have a whole bunch of money left over. Uh, so, so if you're on your budget line, if you're on this line, you're consuming all of your income. You're blowing through all of, all of your, your cash, uh, spending your entire income, and, and you're getting the maximum amount of those two goods that you can.